Hi guys, I'm Asmi, and today I'll be teaching you about one sorting algorithm called the quick sort. There's a few different variations, and today I'll be showing you one. Here I have six cards from one through six. Now let's shuffle. The cards are now shuffled. To sort them using the quick sort, we use something called a pivot. Every card to the left of the pivot will be smaller, and every card to the right of the pivot will be larger. To start sorting, I'm going to choose a pivot among these six cards. I'll choose the last card. I'll scan the set of cards, starting from the left, to find the first card that is greater than the pivot. Looking at the first card, it has a value of 6. My pivot has a value of 3. Since 6 is greater than 3, I've found the card from the left. Next, I'm going to start from the right and find the first card that is less than the pivot. So as I can see, 1 is less than 3, so I found the card from the right. I compare these two cards and realize that 6 is greater than 1, so I switch their spots. Now I'll repeat the same process, starting from the left and finding the first card that's greater than my pivot, 3. So as I can see, 1 is less than 3, 2 is less than 3, but 4 is greater than 3, so I found the card from the left. We'll do the same thing now, starting from the right, to find the first card that is less than our pivot. 6 is greater than 3, 5 is greater than 3, and 4 is greater than 3. But 2 is less than 3, so I found my card from the right. When I make the comparison this time, I realize that the card from the left is the third card in the set, while the card from the right is the second card. When the card from the left comes after the card from the right, I know my sorting process is complete. The last step is going to be switching the card from the left and the pivot. We have now finished sorting the set of cards using the quick sort algorithm. The cards to the left of the pivot are less than it, and the cards to the right of the pivot are greater than it. That was a lot to remember, so pause the next few slides to review the steps. Make sure to go back and rewatch some parts of the video that are still confusing to you. Thanks for watching!